I hope you're all having a pleasant evening. UH football team hosts San Jose State Saturday night. Hawaii uh, Warriors are Hawaii bowl bound. Spartans are struggling. One in nine overall, winless in the WAC. Hawaii seven and three, five and one in conference. And if they win out with three to play, they could become just the sixth team in the program's 101 year history to win 10 games. We have three games to improve ourselves so we can win the bowl game because uh, it's on national TV and we need to show the country what kind of football team we have. You run the table, you can still win 10 games. That's a lot to play for. 10's a big number. A 10-win season would be great, you know, even possibly 11. So um, that's what we're shooting for and that's our goal. Coming from a six, uh, six win season last year, moving to a double digit season winning, um, that's a big accomplishment from last year to this year. And you know, we feel like this next three games coming up, you know, we definitely can win it. And um, you know, the season will be a success. So, so really, really looking forward to. Our team's also looking forward to the return of slot back Keoloha Polaris. He did the last six quarters with a hamstring injury. Former UH Warrior David Vecune has gotten another shot in the NFL. The linebacker has signed with the Denver Broncos two months after being released by the Browns. Vecune, a Campbell High School alum, was a second round pick of Cleveland's in the 2009 draft and played in 10 games as a rookie prior to being let go. He's currently listed as the number two outside linebacker in Denver. Meanwhile, bad news for another NFL backer out of UH. Chicago's Pisa Tinoy Samoa will sit out tomorrow's game against the Dolphins because of a sore knee. Pisa has 41 tackles on the season.